Hey you guys, this is Jamie Lola Tallulah and I am here for a project share. I just finished my altered book for a swap. So yeah, I've been working on it all day, plus the other days. As you can see, this big huge mess on my desk of different papers and cutout shapes and everything that I cut out and over here some stamps and some envelopes and so forth and there's some other little things over here so I'm going to try to not make this video extremely long because it is the whole book and I don't know you know you may not want to watch a 30 minute video or a 40 minute video so <laughs> I'm going to try to make it quick so here is the spine of my book you may remember this trim from a haul I did from the thrift store and I had different shades of orange and so forth. So here it is. And Marilyn G, if you don't want to see your book, don't look anymore. Okay, so here's the front. She wanted me to use these Tropical Travelogue pages that I had from Graphic 45 that I got from, a, what you call it, Tuesday morning a while ago. And so I've been collecting a bunch of stuff and everything and in my stash and trying to find some things. So these are two of the cards that I cut out and here's a strip of the side paper. Here is, this is from k and Company. These are some Christmas things. And the color scheme I went with was basically from this card because it's blue, greens, and it's orange. And I went with the whole like travel theme because it's tropical travelogue and it had these island paradise things and I wanted to go a little different direction but this is what came out. I got these stickers. I had this sheet of stickers from um I got these at the dollar store actually. And so I used that whole sticker set. And then I used some stickers that I got from I Am Mama 24. And I used some stickers that I believe I got from Scrap the world or they might have been from somebody else not sure so <laughs> I didn't do a whole lot of stamping in the book because once again even though I only did three signatures it's already big because I don't know when to stop so I didn't do much stamping because I did a whole bunch of paper piecing and tags and all that kind of stuff so there's the front cover and like I said I took the cover the, I don't know the color scheme from her basically the blues oranges and greens and I used the affinity stack the card stock as well as the printed paper from paper studio and you saw that in the haul so I put some of the green olive trim in there and it says treasure today here's an envelope I love these stickers I believe, where did I get these? Oh, I got these stickers on clearance at Hobby Lobby this week. So, there's an envelope and it has a tag in there. And there's the back. And I did paper piecing on here. Um, let's see. Next page, maybe if I hold it up like this, it'll be easier. Here's a little piece of that paper from the front. And then a k and Company transparent thing. I did an envelope here. And I made it a double pocket, so there is a tag there, and then there's one here. And normally I would have, you know, done a whole bunch more with the tags, but then I was like, okay, we're going to have to leave her something to do. <laughs> it's my key. Yeah, okay. So, and, oh, I also used the paper stack from Color Book that I got at Big Lots. And I had already put the book together in pages before um, she said much about hers. And then she said she doesn't like white pages. So then I had to go back and piece in pages on the white paper because I was going to use them as journaling spots. But she said she doesn't like the white paper. So I had to go back and <sighs> paste pages in. So like this was originally white and then I pasted this on. So then there's another one of those travel stickers, and you can see the color, color scheme. I used one of the cutouts as a tag holder, and then I used this envelope punch. Um, it's a Sizzix, and that was in a rack, and I believe that one was from Crafty Cake 7, I believe. And then there's some more of this trim with a paper bag, and then there's two tags up in here. Okay. And 
this is another one of the these are two pages that were paper pieced together so hopefully she likes them I thought they came out pretty cool myself and then I bought an envelope one of those heavy craft envelopes attached to here and I just stuck this little tag in there that I doubled up and to just to show where another set of places could go and there's another K and Company piece and these I left white so you can do what you want to the edges I inked all of them but you can put some stamping up here or something like that because I had already put the envelopes on and I didn't want to mess them up so you do have three white pages sorry <laughs> And if I inked them, I you know, if I it inked this part, I tried it on one of the other pages and I didn't like it. So I ended up having to cover it back up. So I just left the three white. So you can do, change it, add something to it to get rid of the white. Um, so then here's this piece. I'm hoping this is showing. And I hand stitched them in. This is another page that was white and then I had to paper piece it. So there's like three pieces of paper there. And all these pieces, if you can see, they have maps and road maps and tunnels and lakes and stuff like that. So it has the whole travel theme. Here's another one, and she is actually a belly band piece. So you can actually stick a tag in there. So she's a belly band piece. Um, and this is a Tim Holtz Tattered Flowers die. This is a Tim Holtz die. I told you I got out the dies, didn't I? I love this orange page. And like I said, it it, it goes with that. And then this is one of the stickers that I got from I Am Mama 24. <sighs> this is another one of those travel stickers. And then I put two different types of tags. And this is an envelope that's folded up. So it's actually three areas of taggy tagginess. And like I said, so you can see all the colors, the blue, the oranges, and greens. And then this sticker is from I Am Mama 24. Yeah, let me make sure that's who that was from. I think it is. Yeah. And then here's the other part of that envelope. And I just bought the um, ticket, not ticket, but the stamp punches from, what's his face? Tim Holtz when I on Thursday or something this past week so I use those a lot and then there's the tag this is a Sizzix tag thing and here's a little tag to go in it I put a piece of paper here there's a flower there's a tag in the paper bag and then I paper piece here a tag can go there um, I put a little camera on here and I tried to get all the glue things off so the hot glue and stuff so I'm still not really good at that <laughs> I try to get them off, but then there's, so there's an old camera. Then on this side, um, I had some of that, uh, I forget what kind of paper it was, but it had a whole bunch of these sheets. I think it was a can company pad too, of these sheets with these little stickers, stamp stickers. Then um, I cut out some more tags and you actually can put a little something here because there's a little space for it there. This is, I cut one of the uh, other ones in half, one of these tags to tap. So there's a tag here, and you can put a tag there in the bag. This little sticker, I actually got this in a rack recently. Well, it was a swap. We swapped from, um, oh, Vicky, from Vicky. And here's the other side of that. And there's a little teen time place you can put a tag in here too. It doesn't go all the way in, but there's a little piece there. And then I figure you could do journaling on here or you could add information or stamp or whatever, ephemera. Here's another one. This is another paper piece page. Um, so, cause it was white. <laughs> and then these two blank pages, I love these. And this and this is a can company smash thing uh it was a paper piece page <laughs> and a tim holtz and i didn't put much on this one because i love the faint outline of these butterflies and this is like the almost the dead center of the book i think so i really liked this page so i didn't cover it up here's another envelope and then she sent me these really cute um Tim Holtz cards in a tin and I this one said Bon Voyage so I thought that was really cute for a travel kind of themed journal this is probably my favorite page in the the thing 
because I just like how it came together with here's the background and then the I put an envelope and instead of turning it this way I turned it this way so there's a tag part here a tag part there in the back and it's glued down but you can take these out and then just how the flowers just go in there with her face and everything love it okay this is 10 minutes I'm trying to go faster here's this page you put a little calendar here it says trip you can put a tag inside here or some whatever you want in there. Here's this piece. I put her on and used her as a tag holder. And I thought this was fun. <laughs> so I cut out a Tim Holtz flower and then I stuck a clock sticker in it. And this is part of the pack I got from I Am Mama 24. Another thing here. This is one of the stickers from Vicky. And there's the back and there's a tag in there. You can put tags in here. And I paper pieced this instead of putting one whole mat. And you can put stuff in the side here. And there's that one with another one of those stamps, travel stamps. And another one of those trip stickers. And a Tim Holtz stamp. Um, here, this is another paper pieced. Uh, this is one of the pages I said that was, maybe I shouldn't tell, like, the, st the mistakes. Um... This is the page that I had tried stamping on. I glued the paper bag down. The, another paper bag. So I had glued the, the paper down, the paper bag down. And then this one part was white and I was going to do some stuff. But then I inked it around and I didn't like the way it looked. So then I did this three layered pot plate page with the pocket. And then I added this orange trim again. Because I wanted to carry it through each section. And I'm trying to go faster. Here's a little writing spot. And the purple is in there just because I think it actually like makes those areas pop. Here's this section. I did the double uh, fold on the envelope again and put trip. And then you can put see where tags go. And a tag actually goes right there too. I don't have a third one to put in there, but it, it goes in there. So there's actually three places for tags. And here's this one. This is one of the third pages that's white. <laughs> um... So you can stamp something up there and it's a pocket with a heavy craft envelope. And here's that page and this page. And I use that stamp from Stamp Abilities to stick that little hot air balloon in there. And I absolutely love this page so I didn't do hardly anything to it, this design. So I put one of the envelopes and I glued it down to make a tag on this side and a little tag space here. So, I love that little envelope die. And here's that. And here is this set of pages. Um, another hot air balloon sticker. And this is one of the K and Company smash pages on the envelope. Tear here, tear here, there. Okay. And this is actually what the envelope die looks like. I just didn't fold it up because I thought it looked cute as a big old tag in there. So there's this page with some more of the trim to carry over a paper bag with the clocks. And I put the clock and stuff in there because, you know, like schedules and time when you're trying to get ready for a trip. And then this page is relatively blank. And I just really like the way this ended, like the, the spread of the colors. So I didn't do much there for that because one, this paper didn't need anything. And then at the very end, there are some little Tim Holtz flowers doubled up. And another envelope, which I really like this envelope too, with the clock. And this is the other piece of that Bon Voyage um, card. And then another time sticker with two tags in it. And then the end of the book. And that is your book. I hope you enjoy. Bye.